My name is Jack Sines, and I was a uh, warranty and service manager at CNC Yachts. Uh, I also was uh, in charge of engineering for a period of time. I was a production supervisor on the floor pre previous to that, and uh, I enjoyed my time there very much. It was a very neat company to work for because every day was different. It was never the same thing over and over. It was always a new challenge or a new thing to figure out to do something. Um, really nice time there. Uh, it was almost like a family. It really was like a family. You uh, you didn't deal with people like as a as a, a boss and a and someone under you. You just dealt with it like it was your brother, or your father, or whatever. It was so nice to work there because of that reason. Everything was on the, the same same even keel all the time. Hey, lousy fun, eh? <laughs> But it was. It was. It was all very nice that way because you were all friends with everybody, and everybody was your friend as well. For the amount of product we put out, there wasn't a lot of warranty work. There was a lot more warranty work than we would like to have seen, but that was due to a lot of different things, uh, things that we couldn't control. Example of that would be engines and boats. If they had a problem with the engine, we didn't build the engine, but we had to deal with it because. In effect, we were responsible for it. So, based on that, we didn't have a lot of warranty work, but we had some, like everybody else does. A neat thing I remember once, a fella had a boat, he was racing it, it was a 36-footer, and he raced that boat, and I don't know where he placed in the race, but they did lose control of the boat. And the boat went aground in a storm, and for three days it pounded on the rocks. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the only thing that happened to the boat was it lost its rudder. It's the only thing that happened to the boat. They towed the boat off the rocks, it was fine. I mean, there's a, a testament to CNC yachts right there. Because they, they built boats really, really tough. And I think that maybe with no planned obsolescence, maybe it would have lasted a little longer, you know. But we did a good job. Probably the CNC 39, the old CNC 39. I like the 39. Um, it was a really neat boat and uh, tough as nails, just absolutely tough as nails. It was a good boat. I like that boat. I I think that people would do well to build boats as good as CNC ever did, and I think that CNC has a lot of boats out there yet. And that in itself is a legacy to try and live up to because I know there's a lot of other companies out there that build boats that don't last like CNC boats do. No, not really because every, every day, like I said before, every day was different and so on. And to me, that was very, very important because it made you want to go to work every day. And it made you want to work because it was different and you were making progress all the time. So it was, it was really neat to do that, but to say there was one specific thing, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, I think it was all good.